Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am back today with yet another haul. I know I can't stop buying wax. All this channel is going to be is hauls at this point because I have zero self-control. Today I am doing a Super Tarts haul. So Brandy did a flash sale over the weekend of Father's Day, Friday into Saturday. Um, she restocks every Friday and that particular Friday she said you know what I'm going to do a 20% off which is amazing and awesome because her stuff rarely goes on sale <clears throat> maybe just twice a year I think this sale and then um, sometime in the fall so <clears throat> I decided that I was going to pick up a few things I just got um, eight clams nothing too crazy and I actually wasn't even going to place an order until I saw that this was back in stock so this is the whole reason that I even placed an order this is impossible girl I told myself that I was not going to buy any more wax especially from super tarts unless I could get my hands on this and lo and behold it was in stock <laughs> so of course my purchase was justified in my mind because I said well if I can get this then I might as well get a few other things and of, and then of course it's 20% off so who wouldn't jump on an opportunity for that? So let's get into this haul. I'll start off with this. So this is Impossible Girl, like I said. This is Cappuccino Birthday Cake and Cotton Candy. And this is what it looks like. It's got some sparkles. It's very similar to the um, Pond clamshell with the uh, little design that's on it. It is from the same collection. And this smells delicious this is actually my first coffee scent I wanted to get this one because it has the birthday cake and the cotton candy and I'm not sure if I love coffee scents or not I don't think that I love them I think I like a toned down type of coffee and that's exactly what this is it's definitely a creamy coffee you get a lot of like milk and creaminess to it it's not like a black coffee or an espresso or anything like that it's definitely a cappuccino with the birthday cake and the cotton candy so this is a winner oh yeah and that's what the bottom looks like definitely a winner for me next we have Vecman I believe that's how you say it and this is Satsuma lemon lime and mixed berries and oh my goodness you guys this smells so good it smells like 7-up or some type of lemon lime soda with a little bit of like a orangey note from the Satsuma and it's a really pretty orange color it's like the tri um tri I always say that dual layered this is really nice this is going to be perfect perfect for summertime and I just love it the lemon lime is really really nice I got a little bit of a berry but it's mostly lemon lime and the hint of Satsuma because I feel like lemon lime kind of dominates anything that it's with but that's okay I don't mind it <clears throat> another infamous one here is casper this is toasted marshmallow vanilla bean noel cornbread and mexican fried ice cream so this one people go bonkers over and i was a little nervous because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like the cornbread note or the you know fried ice cream i love fried ice cream in real life but i didn't know if i was gonna like it in wax and how cute is this little ghost but this is really really yummy it's super, super good. You get a bunch of marshmallow, and then you really get, you know, all of the other notes. At first, to me, I smell marshmallow, and then I get a little bit of, like, that fried dough vibe from the Mexican fried ice cream, and then a little bit of, you know, warmth from that cornbread. It's a really great scent, and I am thinking I'm going to save this for fall just because it's a little bit warmer of a bakery, and I really, really like this. I can see why people go nuts over it, and I'm really glad I picked it up. I'm actually happy and shocked that it was even in stock because a lot of the times it's just, you know, always sold out because people grab it like crazy. Another one people grab like crazy is Elsa, which is cotton candy ice cream. I think that's kind of cute how they put the ice there because she's, you know, an ice princess or ice queen or whatever. And it's just got some snowflakes with a little bit of glitter pretty super pretty and it just looks like these on the bottom and this 
honestly, I don't smell anything. I get a little bit of sweetness, but not anything that's like to write home about. I'm gonna let it cure, I just got it in. I know some people say she needs cure time, some people say she doesn't need cure time. I found, you know, with what I've melted recently that I don't really need a cure time. But maybe with this one, since cotton candy and ice cream, I guess, are both very light scents on their own when put together. Maybe they just need a little time to sit or something like that. So I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to let it cure. And hopefully I will get something out of it. Because I love cotton candy scents and I love ice cream. And I think that that would be a really nice blend. But honestly, it doesn't smell like anything. It really, truly just, yeah. I don't get much of anything on that one. So that's a little sad. But I, like I said, I will definitely let it cure. And, you know. We'll go from there. The next one we have is Chucky, which is vanilla bean and honey covered clementines. How cute is that little label? I've never actually seen Chucky. I've just seen, you know, pictures of Chucky in his little striped shirt. I've never seen them because horror movies are not my thing. But I think the wax is really cute. It's really pretty orange and then the slice in it. And then it just has a plain bottom. This, this is interesting. It has a little bit of a florally type note. I, I don't know if that's the honey coming out or the clementine. It's interesting. It's not exactly clementine and vanilla. It's, it's got a little something else in it, a little floral or a little perfumey type note. I'm going to try it out. I don't love florals. They're not really my thing. I actually kind of despise them. Not love. I, I despise them. And... You know, I'm a little nervous about this one because it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. But, I mean, I'll try it out for sure because I like citrus and I like honey and vanilla beans. So, I'm hoping that when warmed, they all just kind of combine to create this beautiful scent. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh, my goodness. This one was one that I wanted so bad. This is magically... Oh, this is Ron. And it's magically delicious and creamy orange sherbet. I love orange sherbet. I love orange scents. I've said it before and I will continue to say it. It has a little rat on it. Don't be eating. Okay, I'll stop. And then it's just white and orange. But this, you guys, oh my goodness. It smells so yummy. Oh, I wish the orange was just a tad stronger, but oh man is it good magically delicious is a very strong scent i think whatever that's paired with it really is the dominant note which is interesting because usually orange is not something that you could overpower very easily but magically delicious is definitely the prominent note with um you know you do get that orange sherbet and creaminess from it but i wish the orange was a little bit stronger it's good though. It is still really, really good. I think you can even add just a little bit more orange sherbet to it and it'll be exactly what I've been looking for, but oh, I cannot wait to melt this because I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I also, can we talk about this label? Any Harry Potter fans out there? I've only seen a few of the movies, but I do know nine and three fourths. I do know that one. <laughs> All right, only two left. The next one we have is from the Tart Wars collection, which is Luke and Leia, or Princess Leia, Princess Leia, Luke and Leia. Mixed berries, vanilla bean buttercream, and birthday cake. And it's this glittery wax with a little bit of blue. This is so good. And that's just the back of it. This is really, really good. You definitely get berries, and then it's followed by up a spot, followed up by a nice sweetness from the buttercream and the birthday cake. It's definitely a tart berry. It's not necessarily a super sweet berry. It's definitely tart. Like to me, I think of a tart raspberry, blackberry, boysenberry, anything that's very, very tart, or even an unripe blueberry. Um, but it's just a mix of all of the nice tart berries, and it smells amazing. I love it. And then the, you know, the sweetness from the, the icing and the cake. This is a really good, good blend. And I enjoy that. I can't wait to get that into the warmer. 
And I saved my favorite out of the bunch for last. I know people go crazy over the scent, <clears throat> so I'm so happy I got it. This is Six Flags. It's sugar dusted funnel cakes and sweet fluffy cotton candy. I love Six Flags and I love this scent. Oh my goodness. And look at how cute the, the wax is. How adorable is that little cotton candy? Are you kidding me? Like it's super 3D too. Are you kidding me with how cute that is? It's adorable. And then look at the bottom. Just so much fun. I love this. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful clamshell. But not only that, but does it smell so good? Oh my God. I am hoping that this throws well when in the warmer because on cold, oh, it is so good. You definitely get a cakey, like the funnel cake with the powdered sugar and then this sweet, sweet cotton candy. Oh, it is so good. I think that this is a perfect blend and I love the name and I love the theme park I just I love it I can't rave enough about this and now I know why it's always sold out and I am so happy that I was able to pick it up because if this is as good as it is warm as it is on cold uh, I'm done for I'm gonna need like 10 of these things because this is delicious absolutely delicious it makes me want funnel cake and it makes me want cotton candy it also makes me not want to melt it because this little cotton candy is just so damn cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. That one is definitely my favorite of everything that I picked up. So that's everything that I got this order. If you guys participated in the 20% off, let me know down below what you guys got or if you've melted any of these or if you love, love Six Flags as much as I do. Let me know. I would love to chat about it with you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.